that is it from us. We're back with the late news at 10 o'clock tonight. Now on BBC One, the news where you are. Goodbye. Good evening. Scotland is on the move towards an independence referendum following another election win for the SNP. That's according to the party's deputy Westminster leader, Kirsten Oswald. She said the local election results showed there was a real appetite for a fresh vote, something UK ministers have so far refused to back. Here's our political correspondent, Phil Sim. I'm proud of all of you. The SNP have racked up yet another election win in Scotland, while Sinn Féin has taken the most seats in Northern Ireland something Nicola Sturgeon says poses big questions about the future of the UK. She wants to hold a referendum on independence by the end of next year, but has thus far been stonewalled by Boris Johnson. This morning, the SNP's deputy Westminster leader said the party's record-breaking win on Thursday shows there's a real appetite for a fresh vote. I think that we absolutely are on, on the move towards a referendum. You know, and the First Minister has been very clear on our position in terms of timing and what we would like to see, and we have a mandate for that as well, don't forget. So, um, yes, I really do look forward to, to things cranking up in, in terms of that conversation. The Conservatives lost council seats across Scotland and the UK, so is this a sign they're losing that argument? The party's leader here says that when it comes to the constitution, nothing much has changed. The results across the UK show that the public eh, have decided to send a protest vote against the Prime Minister and, and Partygate in this election, mainly by staying at home, not by switching to other parties. We saw the same here in Scotland. Really, the vote for pro-UK parties is at 55% and the vote for pro-separation parties is at 45%, exactly where we were eight years ago. One clear change in the election was Labour overtaking the Conservatives back into second place. The party is still a long way from its peak, but with the Lib Dems and Greens also making gains, could we be seeing Scottish politics rebalancing into less of a binary affair? And Nicola Sturgeon is going to pretend between now and the next general election that it's Scotland versus England. It's not Scotland versus England. If you look at Birmingham, Liverpool, Manchester, London, Cardiff, Glasgow, Edinburgh, right across the country, people are angry and fed up with this Conservative government. It's not Scotland versus England. It'll be Boris versus Britain. Referendum or general election? The ballots have only just been counted, but it seems in Scotland many politicians are already looking ahead to the next contest. Philip Sim, reporting Scotland. ScotRail is warning passengers that some services will be cancelled in the coming days. It says it's expecting a driver shortage and follows a train derailment at Coatbridge on Friday. The train wasn't in service at the time and no one was hurt. ScotRail say there will be an emergency timetable on the North Clyde route. It alleges drivers haven't made themselves available for rest day working or overtime. It comes as the drivers union ASLEV considers industrial action over pay. What ScotRail have offered? is a pay deal full of if, buts and maybes. Unfortunately, if, buts and maybes don't pay our members' bills. If ScotRail want to come back to the table and negotiate in a real meaningful manner and make an offer to us, not via the media, but over the negotiating table, then we're willing to talk. But it has to be a meaningful offer that they come and make. The Scottish actor Shuti Gatwa is taking over from Jodie Whittaker as the Doctor in the BBC sci-fi series Doctor Who. Gatwa, who was born in Rwanda and brought up in Edinburgh and Fife. He is 29 and is a graduate of the Royal Conservatoire of Scotland in Glasgow. The actor previously starred in the popular Netflix comedy Sex Education. He'll be the fourth Scot to take on the role. It feels really amazing and it's a, it's a true honour. This role is an, it's an institution and it's so iconic and it means a lot to so many people, including myself. And so it makes everyone feel seen as well. It's something that everyone can enjoy. So I feel very grateful to have had the baton handed over and I'm going to try to do my best. The younger generation of kids, there'll be lots of new people tuning in for the first time. Um, uh, obviously being younger you know I, I was six years old when I started watch, watching Doctor Who and you'll get some six-year-olds start watching with Shooty now and you know it's it's the fandom of the future is going to be born with this incarnation of the Doctor. Football and we're about to give you the latest on the Scottish Premiership title race. Rangers are still mathematically in with a chance of winning the league after their 2-0 win over Dundee United this afternoon. But goal difference means Glasgow rival Celtic are still the likely league winners this season. 
Time now for the weather and Julian is here. Thanks Louise. There was lots of sunshine around today and it was feeling warm in that sunshine but it's set to turn unsettled as we head through the coming week as high pressure pulls away and weather fronts move in off the Atlantic. For this evening, sunshine to end the day, any showers fading and then clear spells but thickening cloud will bring rain into the northwest through the early hours on strengthening winds. A fairly mild night underneath all that cloud, temperatures holding up in double digits for many of us. There'll be some early brightness for southern and eastern parts tomorrow but it won't last long because cloud will thicken spells of rain will move in working their way eastwards across the country during the day persistent and heavy at times and accompanied by those fresh to strong winds and it's staying fairly unsettled for tuesday it'll be a day of sunny spells and showers the showers heavy at times especially in the west and merging to give some longer spells of rain best of the sunshine in the east that's the forecast Louise. Okay, thanks very much for the update Julian. And that's all for now. We're back with the Late Bulletin after the 10 o'clock news. We hope you can join us again then. Until then, enjoy your Sunday evening. Bye for now. <laughs>